My name is Apadet Estafe, a first year student from Cavendish University, Uganda, doing bachelor's in law, and I'm excited to be part of the Virtual National Students Anti-Corruption Challenge 2024, and I'll be participating in the speech journey. My speech for today is entitled, The Sweet Life. I have erred. I haven't kept my word. Oh, how I promised to resist from this sweet lie, but it seems it has just eaten me up. There is nothing new that I'm going to tell you that you've never heard. Hashtag in corruption. This fight starts with me, a corruption free Uganda. These slogans have just turned out to be attention seekers from public. So sweet that people have used them to get attention and fame from the public. Oh, what a shame. Tell me any sector where this sweet lie hasn't penetrated and maybe I would celebrate a little. But when I come to think of it, it just brings sadness upon my heart. Is it in the health sector, education sector, or in the transport and works? The sweet lie comfortably continues to grow, grown to be a norm in society. You either fight for it or you get engulfed in it. And guess what? I've not kept my word. Why, why would somebody fail to get a job because they do not know someone in that particular company? Or why would a patient have to buy medicine that is stocked from government supplies? Why would we then suffer with potholes on roads around Kampala because the money was swindled to build for our dear minister a comfortable mansion for him to have comfortable sleep? It is then at this point that I question where our values of transparency, accountability, and anti-corruption are. Did we leave them preaching out the gospel that we shouldn't that we shouldn't lie and be truthful? Or did we neglect the doing and just preached on the talking? We've talked too hard that even each and every single one of us has neglected their role. We've gone on to blame the government, thinking it is the types of the Betty Kamias, the First Lady, the President, who are supposed to fight this vice. But then we forget that this is a joint fight. Dear young me, take on the right path. Don't be misled with the talking. It is time for the action. We need to work together with the government, the people, and each and every single one of us here and is listening. The weapon has been provided, the citizen feedback platform, which was made by the, by the Office of the Auditor General, which deals with the service delivery concerns. Let us inform, engage, and influence. You can actively be a part of all this, all you need is your smartphone, of which, according to the statistics, 49% of Ugandans hold a smartphone. Install the app, collect data on the different forms of service delivery, inform, inform the government, engage with it, and we shall be able to fight down corruption. Do the actions and less talking, and the war against corruption will be won. Thank you.